My Hebrews were like brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel. Scattered all over the earth. And I want to take this moment to say again, welcome back. And uh, hope you're having a good time. Hoping you're getting a chance to view these sessions and to not only view them, but to like them and share them with your friends, family, and loved ones. Praise his holy name. I hope that these scriptures helping you to stand firm and help you to grow in nurture and admonition of Yahuwah. Praise his holy name. My brothers and sisters, every time I go through this passage, they bless my heart. They bless me. Yes, they bless me. I love his word and, and uh, you know, my brothers and sisters, I, I'm just like anybody else. I get tired and weary and sleepy and, you know, Sometimes you get frustrated too because of situation and issues. But my brother and sister, I just want to thank you for that he has given me a chance to look into his word and given me the ability to share his word with others and, 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 and to give me you so that you know, I know you're there and I know you're responding to his word. And so it gives me joy in my heart to do his word so that when you read it and you, you know, you can, it can help you to, to, you know, advance to the next level with your growth in Yahuwah. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. And so my brother, my sisters, we're going to look at verse two. We're in Psalm 43 and we're uh, talking about you know how we are in exile <laughs> you know a man in exile okay I, 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 my brother my sisters let me say this that as free as we are right we don't have the chains around our neck or around our hands and our feet. But we are where we are because of the fact that we've been scattered. You know, in all of in all of Yahuwah's plan. And let me say this to you, my brothers and sisters. <clears throat> we know that our ancestors had done wrong. Right? They had done wrong and so they were exiled in different places. And now we, be, we, we, we are we, we're following in a footstep in many ways. But just say Once, just, 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 just say it this way. That's, just say that they had obeyed Yahuwah. And that did not do anything to cause Yahuwah to punish them. And so we're in the land of Israel. And the land is where a lot of the Gentile people are trampling the land right now. Okay? They come you know, in the form of, say, they convert it to a, a, a religion and and then taking, you know, our heritage and, and trying to claim our ancestor as theirs, but our ancestors can't match with them, can't match them, okay? But the world is in such a confusion <clears throat> and they're confused, they don't know what's going on. You know, the world don't know what's going on and so we have to we who are descendants and we know what's going on then we have to share it okay and you're going to find people going to say no to you 
then I'm going to be so glad to receive what you have to say. Because many of them are in darkness themselves. Okay? And then following the ways of the Gentiles. And they can't see. But just think that Yahuwah had kept us in Israel. Our ancestors. Where we, the place would be so filled. The land space would be so filled with people. That Yahweh would have to find another way to build another Israel someplace to get us. So now we are that there and we are in the billions of people now, right? We are in the billions. And the 30 billion of people are just to be taking them right on there and putting them in Israel. We would not hold. Take all those people out. Just drive them out, right? And we replace them and we're there. My brothers and sisters, that land could not hold us. So yeah, we'll have to have, have had another plan. And it, this is why he said, wherever we are, we are to build him a sanctuary. Guess what? Our lives, our bodies, are sanctuary for him. And the sanctuary has to be clean so he can continue to dwell in us. Praise be to his holy name. So, I said all of this to say this. In verse 2, <clears throat> in verse 2, Psalm 43, verse 2, For thou art the Elohim, or the Yahuwah, of my strength. My brothers and sisters, we do not have any strength of our own. We cannot do anything on our own. We have to depend totally. Not, not partly. It won't work. We have to depend on Yahuwah totally. <clears throat> and we are Yahuwah's children. Yahuwah is our strength. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yahuwah is our strength. Okay. Look at the word strength there. My O's is the word. My O's. My O's. My O's, my O's, my O's, my O's. It is it, is is a um same word, but it's, you have different rendition of that word. And what it said here is a place. Of safety. He's, Yahuwah, for thou art, you are my Yahuwah. And you are the Yahuwah of my strength. The place of safety. My brothers and my sisters, this is what Yahuwah is. This is who he is. We are safe in him. He is our strength. When we are weak, he makes us strong. He, when we have the enemy coming at us, we can run to him because we are safe in him. We are safe in him, my brothers and sisters. When we are in his presence, when we 
are in his presence, my brothers and sisters. He protects us from all harms. Did you hear me? I said he protects us from all harms. You think he goes, says, okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> I was talking to, I was talking to uh, a couple of people today. Uh, they were talking about, um, you know, I was giving them a, a little um, joke about when I was uh, the first church I planted as a young man in Jacksonville. I had a baptismal service on a Sunday morning bright early. Right? Cars have to have light to see because it was dark. And we went into this river they call Mankwif River. A, we went up to the section where the boat, they have the boat ramp where they put the boat in the water. And I went in the water and because I know the water has gators, okay, in there. And uh, and that's where the people want to get baptized, you know, so get, find somebody's pool and go to the ocean, they want to go to Man Creek River. So anyway, we there were about seven people to baptize them up. And you know, some people on the bank looking, right, because they know that I'm scared of gators. And so I'm in the water, and believe me, I'm looking. The water was very calm. Oh, still, it was just, I mean, just calm. And I think it was an October month. So it was getting cool, too. And I looked down there a couple of feet from where I was down there, and I saw something like a piece of log in the water. So talk and pray and dip the person and they come back up the first person and I look and it seemed like the log was getting closer to me and so by the time I dipped the last person the log was like you know one third the distance from where I was to so, so the log come two third way up close to me, so one third of that distance he had to get to me. So, as I did it out first, they said, Brother Josh, look! There's a gator down in the water there. He was coming, slowly was coming. And I got out of the water. <laughs> so, so my friends were talking and they said, this pastor was baptizing people and he was in the river and he said, at the gate and and then the last person he had to baptize. And it, you know, he ran, when he said gator, he ran, left the person in the water. The person had to run. <laughs> uh, the, the ship does not, I mean, the, the captain don't leave the ship like that. Don't leave him. In, the, you know, you got to pay attention. But there's a phrase between you. Well, I, that was the first time in that water. And it was the last time in that water. I said, I'm going to, I wouldn't go back into the water. And I took, to me, it's dangerous. I think it's just dangerous to do something like that. <laughs> and I promise I'll never do it again. No, I've never baptized in the water. And every Florida water, my brothers and sisters, every Florida water, if you don't have gators in it, it has some real bad cotton nose. I would call it copperhead. What a snake. No, you gotta be careful. But we say Yahweh is our strength. He is our strength, my brothers and sisters. He is our protection. When we talk about our strength here, we're talking about, you know, the place of safety, right? We're talking about the fact that He is our fortress. The scripture talk about our rock. It strengthens us. The most stronghold. You know. The most stronghold. The word my woes. Uh, my woes. Here. Is, 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 is saying that. Yahoo. When we, when we talk about. 
stronghold. We talk about a fortified place, right? He is a place of defense. It's for strong. The stronghold, my brother, is hardened, imprudent. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. He, he prevails against any force. Strengthen. You know, it's strong. It's stout. My brother, my sisters. Um, Yehoshua said, All that the Father gives me shall come to me. And he that comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. And he said, And no one shall be able to pluck you out of my Father's hand. Can you imagine? It's strong. That's the kind of Yahuwah we have as our Father. Strong. My brother and my sisters, don't forget that. Never lose sight of that. Our Yahuwah is strong. Praise be to his holy name. Praise be to his name. He's strong, my brothers and sisters. He is our strength. He is our strength. And he asked a question. Here, just like he asked a question in Psalm 42. Why dost thou cast... Why dost thou cast me off? It's like, it's at a point where you say, hmm, I am calling for Yahweh and is not there yet. And by now he should have been there. And we act like Yahweh is not there at all. That's not the case. Yahweh works when he's ready to work. And he's not going to make anything happen to you. He's going to make sure that everything works according to his purpose. Why go I mourning because of the oppressions of my enemy? Okay, the, the word here, mourn, to, is, is the word kadar here. <coughs> kadar. And, and I want to use some terminology, my brother and sister, but I don't want to get off, offended. Okay. This is the word kadar here. The word kadar means dark. Okay. dark see how this is black that's what it is when situation darkness you cut the light off and and you have blackness they're not talking about a person's skin okay i don't think i've ever seen anybody looking like this right here this is not what he's talking about okay this, this it, 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 we're not talking about us he's talking about this darkness blackness Okay, talk about dark situations, not people. And, and so, so here, this word is kadar to be dark. Okay, to be dark. It, it is, it is, you know, when you talk about blackish or uh, to be dark, heavy. Heavily, something heavily. Um, and it, it caused to mourn. When, when a person is mourning, going through mourning, it's like, um, you know, it's like a gloom. You know, come from a primitive root, ashy, to be ashy, a dark colored. But, but you know, talk about a person, by implication, to mourn in sackcloth. This is like a, a, a sordid, garment you know and, and and to make heavy to go mourning and the question that he's asking is that why 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 do i go mourning and he said 
He's mourning. Why is he mourning? Because of the oppression. Because he's mourning because of the oppression of the enemy. He, he has no peace. Can't sleep at night. All, all of these things. As a matter of fact, one time he just say, look, I, David just say, I, I go to my bed and I sleep because Yahuwah watches over me. That's the only reason why he's able to go to bed and sleep. Because Yahuwah watches over him. Yahuwah watches over him. I said, he go mourning because of the oppression because of the oppression of the enemy because of the oppression of the enemy we're going to stop here <clears throat> and we're going to come back my brothers and my sisters we're going to ask you to be a blessing to someone today and walk with the king Shalom.